Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 3 and learning a lot about trigonometry. We are episode number 4 today and today's topic friends is if angle remains same, the trigonometric ratios of the angle, it those ratios do not vary with the length of the sides. So this is a really hard, it's a very long topic. Uh, because it's so verbose. Let's let's look to understand it a little bit more in the context of some examples like we always do. So here friends I have drawn a simple line AB, a line segment AB and what we will do is that we are going to put a protector at point A and draw a line. So let us just draw a line, maybe a line like this AC and I have drawn, I have just chosen a random angle 25 degrees as you can see here. This is 25 degrees, right? So 20 and 30, right in between 25 degrees. You could have picked any any angle, 10 degree, 30 degree, 80 degree. You know, it doesn't really matter what it is. So, and now let's get the protector out. So at this point, so this angle for us in our example is 25 degrees, right? Now, at point C, how are we going to pick the point C? What we want to do, friends, is that we want to drop a perpendicular. So we will basically draw a perpendicular from the point B on line AB so that our goal is to get a right triangle. So this angle is 90 degrees. So and this is our point C. So right now if you see friends we have a right triangle ABC right ABC and so if you look at we have a right triangle ABC ABC and from the last webisode we learned about the ratios, the trigonometric ratios. So sine A or sine of angle A as it is known, this ratio is basically BC, BC divided by AC. Why? So friends, I hope that you're following us along because we really covered the trigonometric ratios of angle in the last episode. I'm going to provide a link for your easy reference in case if you have missed it. So for sine of angle A will be the side opposite to angle A, BC divided by the hypotenuse. Similarly, cos A or cos of angle A will be the adjacent side which is AB, div AB divided by hypotenuse AC and tan A, tan A will be equal to BC by AB. BC divided by AB. So here friends I just wanted to write these ratios and you know that cosec A is the reciprocal or reverse or opposite of sin A which will be AC by BC. Sec A is the reciprocal of cos A so that will be AC by AB and cot A will be reciprocal of this tan A so that will be AB by BC. So I am not writing the reciprocal. So I'm so but you can write the reciprocals of all of them. Now here friends what we want to do is this. We want to now extend the line AC indefinitely and we want to extend the line AB indefinitely. Why you will see in a moment. So what I would like to do here is that take a random point E on this extended dotted line, take any point D and drop a perpendicular so that this this angle is 90 degrees and you will see friends the reason why we are doing this now if you focus on this triangle which is the highlighted triangle triangle highlighted in blue so that triangle is let's write it here triangle a e d so that triangle is a e d and in triangle a e d if you look at angle A, this is the angle A in triangle AED and that is also a right angle triangle, right triangle. So if you were to write the trigonometric ratios of the, the, uh, for the angle A, again like we know from the last uh, episode that we will have six trigonometric ratios for any angle. So if I am looking at right triangle AED, AED, D is 90 degrees. So sine of angle A will be DE, DE divided by AE because the AE will be the hypotenuse for the triangle AED. 
So cos A will be similarly adjacent side for this will be AD. It will be AD divided by hypotenuse AE. AE and tan A will be DE divided by AD. It will be DE divided by AD. And these are the ratios, friends, like we have learned in our last webisode. Right? So I'm just writing three of the six ratios. Now, friends, here I wanted to highlight to you that. So we have we have got two separate right triangles. One is A, B, C, and the other one is A, D, E. Right? And we have written the trigonometric ratios, the three trigonometric ratios of angle A in each of these triangles. Now, friends, can we ascertain anything about how this ratio is related to this ratio or this ratio is connected with this ratio or this ratio is related to this ratio? Is there any way for us to find out about any connection? They are basically the same angle A, but they are in two different triangles and we know that the, the trigonometric ratio of an angle is really expressed as ratio of the sides of the triangle. So friends, let's do one thing. To understand that, this is what we are going to do. And as you can imagine, we can really extend this concept because I could have taken another point G and then dropped another perpendicular F, right? And then we could have then taken a look at this big triangle now, A, F, G. So whatever is the relationship that can exist between these two will be similar to any other right triangle that we draw on, on the line AC and AB respectively. So let's find out if there is any relationship between these two triangles. Let's clean this up again. So if you notice friends, uh, so we have two triangles. I'm going to write it again here triangle ABC and I have triangle ADE. So here friends if you notice, so this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, right? So if you look at two triangles, angle B is equal to angle D. Both are 90 degrees and angle A is the common angle because this angle exists in triangle ABC and this angle exists in triangle ADE. So if you recall friends from our last series, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle A, D, E. Why? Because we know that there is a, there is a A, A similarity rule. By A, A similarity rule, we can say that these two triangles are similar triangles. So friends, if these two triangles are similar, then what do we know? Then we know that if you recall that then the similar triangles, they're corresponding sides have the same ratio. That means BC, let's write it here, BC divided by DE. This ratio should be equal to AB divided by AD. AD and that should be equal to the only side left is AC, AC divided by AE, AE. So friends, from similar triangles, we know this is what follows. This is the definition of a similar triangle that if two triangles are similar, their corresponding sides have the same ratio. So from here, friends, if you, if you observe this closely, 
obviously the numerators are basically about the smaller triangle the denominators are for the larger triangles but from here we can because this is essentially saying that a is equal to b is equal to c so we can take a look at this equality first so if i look at these two equality what i can do is so let's let's just quickly write it here so i can say bc by de is equal to ab by ab by ad i can say that and now from here what i want to write is i want to write bc let's write this as bc divided by i want to bring ab here a B here. I'm just trying to basically get instead of having the numerators in the of the small triangle and denominators for the large triangle, I'm trying to get the ratio in the same triangle. So A B, I'm trying to get the A B down here, and then D E will move over here. So this will be basically equal to D E by A D. Right? If you observe this ratio very closely, friends, if you look at what this ratio is, this ratio is nothing but what is BC by AB? What is BC by AB? BC by AB is nothing but tan A. So this, let's just write it here. So this ratio is tan A that is tangent of angle A in triangle ACB or ABC. And this is equal to what is DE by AD. If you look at triangle ADE, DE, that is this length, right, DE by AD is nothing but that is equal to tangent or tan A where A is the angle in the bigger triangle. So friends, what we are noticing is the, the trigonometric ratio of the angle in the smaller triangle, this is the trigonometric ratio of the angle A. So one of the ratios, right, tan of angle A in the small triangle is exactly equal to tan of the ang same angle in the bigger triangle. So friends, it means that what we can say is, let's just clean it up a little bit. So what we can say is that the, the tangent or tan of angle A, right, in small triangle is equal to tan of the same angle. These ratios are same in the bigger triangle, right? Similarly, friends, so we, so we could have actually expressed uh, the other ratios as well. So, for example, what we could have done, let's just write what equalities we had. We know that, so these two, these two triangles, that is ABC and ADE are similar triangles, right? So, we saw that uh, BC, BC by DE is equal to AC by AC by AE. Again, because these two triangles are similar, right? So again, if I want to bring the AC down here and DE over there, so what I will have is, I will have BC divided by AC. BC divided by AC is equal to DE divided by AE. So from here, this implies, what is this ratio? What is BC divided by AC? So BC divided by AC, you will recall is nothing but sine of angle A in the smaller triangle. If you look at triangle ABC, BC divided by AC. BC is the length side opposite to angle A and AC is the hypotenuse. So BC divided by AC is sine of angle A in the small triangle which is equal to what is DE by AE. If you look at the big triangle ADE, DE is the side opposite to angle A. So DE divided by AE is the hypotenuse, is nothing but this is actually equal to sine of angle A in the larger triangle. So again, friends, 
the point we are trying to make is it does not matter which triangle we are looking at are we looking at a small triangle ABC or we are looking at a bigger triangle ADE if my angle remains same if this angle remains same so my trigonometric ratios so uh, just now we saw that tan A it was equal to tan A in the bigger triangle and now we are looking and seeing that sin A in the smaller triangle is equal to sin A in the larger triangle. So friends here there is only one conclusion which is that if we have a right triangle right the ratio the trigonometric ratio the values of the trigonometric ratio of an angle it really does not vary with the lengths of the sides of the triangle if the angle remains the same. If I don't change my angle, it does not matter how the lengths change. If my angle remains same, it does not matter if the one triangle has, you know, length AC, BC and a AB and the other triangle has bigger lengths for AC, BC and AB but the value of the trigonometric ratios will remain the same. Next episode from that point on friends, we are going to take a look at some questions that we will be looking to solve on trigonometric ratios.